Morning, guys. Hope all is well. Um, London session's been open for a couple hours now. Um, I'm just going to go through what I'm kind of seeing so far. Um, dollar, still nothing crazy, to be fair. Um, we do have this one hourly zone, which almost came close uh, to be hitting, but we didn't actually get it. So I want to see if we could potentially run out these lows going into New York and then potentially get that pop up or if we're actually just going to kind of die through it if we break down onto the time frames okay you can see we've got this 15 minute zone which could potentially be quite nice to trade from so I am just waiting to see kind of what happens with everything if we go onto an hourly did price make it up there? No, we didn't. Let's go. There was a time frame that I saw this on. Yeah, we can just take this last full move. So we had liquidation of the highs. Price then broke lower. We came back up. We test. Then price has come back into this zone. So now I'm really waiting to see if price is going to come in then come down and take out these lows or if we're actually just going to break higher um, and then continue higher. So that's my bias on the dollar so far. If I'm going to be honest, there's really nothing that amazing to be fair. It's just kind of in this consolidation phase. We could say that this is a Wyckoff, but I'm not really too sure on what schematic this is going to be. We only kind of really know once price has actually given us um, like a break or something so now if we go manipulation 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 and then it actually broke that would be a reaccumulation to be going higher um but considering we're just kind of caught in this wedge a little bit um i'm not really seeing anything too crazy us 30 um was looking for potential buys into this zone yesterday i did get a small sell in on this pair on the shorts yesterday in and here so not all the time but a lot of the time when right oh i've noticed when price is kind of going into um different sessions you usually get quite a big form of manipulation um i was looking at a lot of this liquidity and the lows I had the idea that price did want to start coming back down. You can see just before the New York session, price actually started to come up. And we then finally took out this London high that was just past eight o'clock, um, generating more liquidity in the form of lows all down here. So um, I've seen this many times. I don't recommend people doing it. Um, I only do it just because I do like to take a little bit more risk. Um and I've again, I've seen this play out multiple times um, on gold as well on US 30. As soon as you actually come into the New York session opens, you usually do get some sort of dramatic change in price. So I literally had as soon as price had actually started creating this like big volume. I think it was on, it was on two minute. Yeah. So on this two minute price had created this Marabuzu candle and that's telling me there's no wicks involved in this which is telling me that this is going to be pretty much a big strong buy to sell movement now considering we got this strong impulse buy going up usually you guys should be waiting for the breaker structures and wait for the tests of things that is fair enough that is what i should have been waiting for but i've seen this happen in the past and i was just quite confident um in uh in the place so i was literally sat at one minute i was waiting for price i think my entry was literally here I have my stops literally just above the high, so it wasn't even like a pip. Um, and then I had my targets down into this final low. You can see this is the crossover low just before the Asian session. You can see we literally just wicked up, and then price actually started pushing up. Was there opportunities to get in on here for the buys potentially? Yes, could have maybe got in somewhere here. But in the grand scheme of things, I wasn't looking for the buys because I was looking to see if we were going to get a test of this. I didn't place anything. I was just happy with my cells that had come through. But you can see that this is just nothing more on a higher time frame than just a sell to buy movement. So potentially now want to see 
if Price wants to run back into this zone to see if we then can run all of this liquidity out. Failing that, breaking down a little bit lower into this zone for continuations. Okay, so gold, um, again, gold, same pretty much scenario that had happened uh, yesterday. Oh, it happened this morning, sorry. Um, we had came into our major weekly zone, which was this weekly imbalance in here. Now, this morning is exactly the same as US 30 yesterday. I was waiting to see all of these highs getting manipulated. You can see we had a manipulation here. Price then slowly came back down, still waiting for this high to be taken. And on a one minute, again, you can see just before, the, as the market literally opened, even if we go into a two minute, you can see straight Meribuzu candle. You can see no wicks. This is telling me that price is looking just to buy, to then sell, going straight into the London session. Look at that 8 a.m. London session. We ran out just this quick old high we actually ran this high as well and then price came up and i was looking for all of these lows to actually get tested and manipulated now going through yesterday's session you can see going into the new york price it came down going to london we came up price then down going into new york testing lower time frame demand Price then impulsed up, and you can see even from the New York, we were impulsing, we were impulsing. Going into the Asian, we were impulsing, we were impulsing. So now, to be honest with you, I was just really waiting for some sort of release going into uh, the London session. Again, I very rarely take trades like these, um, but when I do have an idea about something, um, I do just kind of like to see um, see how it goes. Again, this is literally like a five pip stop loss, and my risk was so minimal, so... If I had taken a loss on this, then it really wouldn't have been anything crazy. Um, but a lot of this is just more so for looking at the different session times, understanding and seeing the actual manipulations, usually before going into some sort of buy or sell. I like to see at least three raids, one, two. This is our third raid, literally going straight into the London session. If all I know, this could have just gone completely higher um, and then that would have been fine. But for me, it was this one minute Meribuzu candle, which was looking really, really clean. Um, and like I said, going into the London, you can see we just had this big impulse. And nine times out of 10, I'll show you another example on Euro Pound. Um, you do get some sort of manipulation going into the session timing, and then price kind of likes to roll over. Now, the price action on here wasn't actually really too clean. I did actually take this trade out. Um, I took this trade out when we had filled and here so this trade ran a 1 to 13 i didn't gain 13 percent because i wasn't risking um but i made 13 times my risk on this trade um and for anyone that's asking i really highly don't recommend you kind of place trades like these um i like to do so just because i've seen this happen many many times in the market before and with my stop so tight i don't mind placing a little bit of risk just because i know if this didn't uh play out then that's fine we could have just actually looked to get in um on somewhere else again so this was gold now i'm expecting price to potentially head back down into our lows now i've still got a pretty high time frame target on gold i'm waiting for um 1972 and potentially even higher back up to 2k is what i'm actually really waiting for if we just look at everything in here we had a small zone in here this has now been broken so we can actually identify let me just delete all of this off we can now identify this as our breaker structure. This is our BOS. And now I'm just really looking for the zone that caused that breaker structure. So you can see this is that 15 minute, which actually impulsed and actually really kind of moved out of this zone again, all the way back down in here, even on, I think it was on a 30 minute. Yeah, on a 30 minute, you can see going into the New York price creates that, that demand and then we push higher again going into here. 
going into New York, price then creates that demand and then actually pushes higher. So this probably might take a couple of days to come through. Um, we will wait and see as soon as price actually starts breaking below these zones because this is your low, high, 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 low, high, high. This is intermediate structure. So as soon as I see this intermediate structure broken, I do want to look for a pullback um, and then shorts back down into this zone. And I would quite like to see price continue a little bit higher. AU, um, nothing really too exciting on AU, if I'm going to be perfectly honest. Still, obviously, waiting for these lower zones to actually be met. We are now testing our high time frame zone up in here. I was looking for a small buy going into the last this week, sorry, off of this zone in here. It was a really nice 30 minute candle. Yeah. So I was looking for this 30 minute zone to play out an order in here. You can say I thought price was going to come down in here and test it. Um, we didn't get that. Again, that's fine. We don't always get the moves that we want. Um, so now and truly I am just waiting to see if price is going to respect this high or if we are actually just going to continue through it um going into new york that's probably going to give us a bit more of an idea of what is looking to happen going into the new york whether we are gonna continue back down lower or if we're actually gonna have a little bit of a rise to the upside so i'm going to be quite interested to see um what does happen on these pairs euro pound Okay, cool. So euro pound, we've came into our first zone of demand. This is the one that invalidated this supply in here. And now we're just looking for the demand that caused that. You can see this is the demand which came in through on the Asian session. We broke higher, price came back down. Now I literally just missed this trade, just my spread literally just missed me, which is a bit of a shame, but that's fine. And again, you can see we break it down onto a one minute what time was it okay so this is around like 8 30 so this is still going in to the london open you can see as soon as price starts pre-london we have that asian raid so all of this is asian you can see re-raid price comes back down going into where are we 8 a.m we have that sell to buy movement and now really and truly these are more of the trades that you guys should be taking um and this is now a confirmed break structure so we have our consolidation we have our manipulation we have our bos now we're just looking for that test and that continuation now i am looking for overall shorts on this pair um at the time being I do think we could run a little bit higher, even into these zones in here, or potentially looking for the last point of contact that is up here. Failing that, we could indeed just run straight through. We do have this 12 hourly zone, which I am waiting to get tested in here. That wouldn't surprise me if price did do that. There is also, if I can go down, it's like a 15 minute. Uh, yeah, so we have this 15 minute zone, which is actually in our high time frame, 50%. So I've been waiting for this to get met quite a while ago. I had an order in here. I was waiting for price to kind of poke up and test that. We didn't get that. Um, but I think if price does make its way back up into this 12 hour, we could probably run a little bit this high and potentially actually come into this little order moving here everything else has been tested and filled within all of this zone and this is the only bit that technically hasn't we still got some liquidity running in the form of highs up in this point so again this is looking really quite nice for buys again let's just run over it again we have our consolidation we have our manipulation we have that breaker structure now we're just waiting to have that test and then that continuation um again this is looking quite nice because we do have a lot of imbalance in here which i could actually see get filled and met um so this is probably the nicest setup that i'm looking for so far for the week um just to actually take this back up a little bit higher um i am looking for a couple of zones we've got a nice two hour zone in here um i personally think this could get ran because we have quite a lot of highs in here 
and nothing really from my understanding got swept these are kind of still intact this is kind of still intact as well um and again you still got imbalances and we still got some zones in and around up here which we could actually see get taken so that is what i'm waiting for so far euro pound is my only real trade that i'm looking at with a nice order I'm just waiting for this to see if that's going to give us a little bit more of a continuation um so um, 87790 is kind of the zone i'm looking for for longs um and you as well kind of what we're all looking at i suppose um waiting for this high to potentially get ran um i do want to wait for a little bit of a lower time frame to lower time frame confirmation we did come in and fill in balance um but there wasn't really anything that amazing that it ran out if anything i would have potentially have liked to have seen this um this low get run uh we didn't again we don't always that is fine but if price does come back down into this zone i do want to be waiting for the breaker structures lower time frame to then actually potentially take this up um a little bit higher um but i am just going to sit on my hands and wait for this one just because we could in all fairness run uh this high and actually dig deeper into this because this is technically where we had this big impulse um we do still have imbalance which has not yet been fulfilled and we could actually potentially just run at these lows on the lower time frame as well um that is what i'm looking at nothing actually really too crazy like i said the only one i'm looking at is euro pound if you guys have got any questions please let me know feel free to fire away and i will help you as much as i can all right guys thank you